Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this mermaid tail using two easy techniques. I've previously created some mermaid tails using the chain pull and acrylic swipe techniques but today instead of using that acrylic swipe technique for the body portion I'm going to be using the same technique that I used in last week's video. To get started I outlined the shape that I want onto the canvas. You can sketch it out directly onto the canvas. I just prefer sketching my designs out on cardboard first and then outlining them onto the canvas just to avoid ending up with lots of pencil marks on the canvas. Now I'm laying down a white base coat that's mixed one part paint to two parts floetrol. All the paints that I'll be using for the chain pull are mixed in this ratio. I'll also list all the paint colors, ratios and supplies in the description box so you'll be able to find all the details there. To create the tail, I'm laying the chain down and then just gently pulling it along. This is the kind of chain that generally hangs from a ceiling fan to turn it on or off, so you could buy this on Amazon or at a hardware store like Home Depot. I'm using phthalo blue that's mixed one part paint to two parts floetrol to outline this portion of the body. The paints that I'm laying down now for the body section are all mixed four parts paint to eight parts floetrol to one part water. So they're a slightly thinner consistency than the paint that I've been using up until now. Um, and that's just because it doesn't need to be that thick but it would also work if it was. I'm just blending or mixing the paints a little bit because that will help the cells show up later when I apply the silicon oil. To create the scales, I'm using silicon oil. Dipping a toothpick into it and applying it to the canvas. Now I'm just adding some white for the background. I like how it turned out and I like the colour combo too. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, 
please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.